If you have a foam roll or are considering buying one, but you don't know how to use it or how it can help, this video is for you. Here's a short routine you can follow to release tight muscles. But first, let's understand what foam rolling does, how it helps and what mistakes to avoid. If you want to skip to the routine, go to this minute in the video. When you swim, your muscles constantly break down. As Coach Jeff from RunnersConnect.net explains, over time, this causes the muscle to become tight when the fascia, the connective tissue that surrounds the muscle, starts to thicken and shorten to protect the underlying muscle from damage. Sometimes, the fibers and the fascia contract so much they form trigger points, which manifest as sore spots needing to be released Foam rolling, also known as myofascial release, is the application of pressure to eliminate scar tissue and soft tissue adhesion from freeing up your fascia. So now that we understand what it does, it is important to avoid these common mistakes. First, don't foam roll too much in one place. This can cause bruising and can create further damage to the tissue. Go a maximum of 20 seconds on each area. Secondly, don't foam roll directly on an injured area. Go lightly on the area of pain. Sometimes, the area where you feel pain is not the problem. For example, sometimes my knees hurt and it is because my quads are really tense. So work on the surrounding areas and the opposite group muscles. Thirdly, don't foam roll too quickly. Sometimes, if it hurts, you want to foam roll quickly on that area, but it works better if you do it slowly. Having said that, let's do a full body foam roll routine. We will start from the bottom. Sit down and roll slowly on your calves. You can put more weight on your leg if you want more pressure. Then, after you do each ankle, Go to your hamstrings. Our glutes often get tense too, so try this. Then work on the quads. First, do it straight down. Then go a little to one side and then to the other. Roll slowly on the trigger points. You'll notice them when you get there. The abdomen and the lower back are vulnerable because there is no rib cage. So, so we'll move up to the upper back. Move your arms as you do this to target different areas. Finally, go to your lats. This muscle gets really tense, especially for swimmers. Remember, Go slowly and move your arm to target different points. If you want to buy a foam roller like this one, I'll leave a link in the description for you. And if you want to buy one of our swim caps, visit skillswimming.com or click here. See you there, swim fast.